Welcome students. This is the video for Thursday 1114. It's on writing linear equation. We're going to focus on slope intercept form. This is the y equals mx plus b that we talked about during last class period. Last class period we took um, regular equations and we wrote them into this form. Today we're going to take different pieces of information and create equations like this. Uh, we start out here pretty simple with if they give us <coughs> the m and the b, all we do is plug them in and create our equation. So in this first one, if the m is one-third, we have y equals. Instead of m, we have one-third. x stays there. Instead of plus b, we get plus 6. So it's one-third x plus 6. On this one, we have our m and we have our b. Our b is actually 0 in this one, so we'll show you what that looks like. y equals. We take out m and we put in 5. x plus 0, but we know they wouldn't write the plus 0, so this one just turns out to be y equals 5x. Okay, this one, they give us our y-intercept in a little bit different way. Instead of calling it b, they call it the y-intercept. This is still the same thing as b equals negative 6. So y equals, instead of m, we put in the 3, x, and instead of a plus b, now we have a minus 6, so 3x minus 6. Let's take a look at some of the other examples. In example four here, they give us a table. The best way if they give us a table is to take the x's and put them into L1, and the y's and put them into L2, and we do stat edit. And this next screen will show you what it looks like once we do. We get an equation, y equals ax plus b, where a is negative three and b is negative four. So when we go to write our equation, it's y equals negative three x, minus 4. And when we get good whole numbers in here, or, or even good fractions to deal with, we can say that this is linear. Okay, we'll skip over to number 7 here, show you what 1 looks like with real world. Again, we're taking our x values and we're putting them over here in L1 and our y's in L2. Yes. And we get an equation of y equals 10x minus 25. And so again, since those are nice numbers, this is linear. And we'll look at some examples that are nonlinear in class on, on Thursday. Okay. Now, if we're given a, a graph, we still need to be able to figure out what's m and what's b. Okay. We learned in class how to count out the m. You have to have two points. So here's a good point, and here's a good point. We said you come over to the left point. We always start on the left, and we always work towards the right. We get in the elevator. This requires us to go up 1 over 2. We always do rise over run, so this is up 1 over 2. That is already simplified, so we don't need to do anything else to it there. Our b, that's the, the y-intercept, and we learned in class last time that the y-intercept is where our line, which is right here, crosses the y-axis, which is the up and down axis. So all we're doing is looking to see where those two lines hit each other, and they hit each other right there, and that is the point 1. Okay. Now when we go to write our equation, it's y equals, instead of m, it's 1 half. We keep our x, and instead of plus b, it's plus 1. So this is y equals 1 half x plus 1. There's another two points here, here. We always go from left to right. We get in the elevator. This time we go down one, two. So down two over one. So our m is down two over one, which does simplify to negative two. So that's our m. Our b, we're looking to see where it crosses. It crosses right there, which is negative one. So when we go to write our equation, y equals, instead of m, it's negative 2, x. Instead of plus b, it's minus 1. So we get y equals negative 2x minus 1. Okay. The next one, we have a flat line here, and they didn't give us any points. So let's go in and pick our points. I like to pick that one because that's going to be the y-intercept. And then one here. We always start at the left count towards the right. Here this time we don't go anywhere once we get in the elevator here. So our rise 
is 0. And then we go over 1, 2, 3. 0 over 3 reduces to just 0. Our b, this one crosses right here at negative 2. So when we go to write our equation this time, it's y equals, instead of m, we get 0x minus 2. But if we have 0x's, we wouldn't really write it, so this would just be y equals negative 2. Okay? When we see an equation that is missing the x, we're going to know that that is a horizontal line because it has a slope of 0. Okay? Another example. Here's our dot. Here's our second dot. We get in the elevator, we go down 1, 2, 3, and we go over 1, 2. So our m is down 3, over 2. That is reduced as well. It crosses right here, which is down 1, 2, 3, 4. That's at negative 4. So our b is negative 4. So our equation is y equals negative 3 over 2x minus 4. All we're doing is plugging in here and here. And again, we have a, kind of a different, different graph here, one that's a vertical line. So we're going to take a look at what you do when you have a vertical line. Okay. Again, we need some points. So I'll pick this point and I pick that point. And you'll notice that we do not have a y-intercept. Here's the y-axis, here's our line, and they do not hit each other. So let's find out our slope, m equals. We get in the elevator, we go down 2 over 0. When we type that in our calculator, we get an error message. And that reminds us that this is undefined. Okay. We also had our slope face. Our slope face that helped us with that, that was positive, that was negative, that was undefined, and that was 0. So this ha is undefined. Our B, we said this line doesn't hit this line, so there is not one. So this doesn't fit any of the stuff that we've been working with. And when that happens, that should be a reminder to us that the only thing this line does is cross the x-axis. So this is x equals wherever it crosses the x-axis, which is right here at 2. This is x equals 2. So an x equals equation is for the vertical line. This is the only time we use x equals. All right. The last ones we're going to look at here is what if you're given two points? Um, if we're given two points, we could revert over here and do stat edit, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But before that, we'll show you the, the longhand version of it. Uh, what you would do is you would stack your points, negative 1, 5 underneath there, and we won't deal with that one anymore. The change in here is plus 2 change over here is plus 1. So that is our slope change in x, uh, sorry, change in y over change in x. So that is a slope of 2. Then to find our b, because we need a b, we take the equation y equals mx plus b. We take one of our equations, let's say this one, that's an x, that's a y. We're going to plug these into here and plug our m into here, and we'll solve for our b. So our y is 3, our m is 2, our x that we were given is negative 2, it's right there, and our plus b we don't know. So we do a little rainbow here, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, plus b equals 3. To get rid of a minus 4, we plus 4 to both sides, that cancels out, and we get the b is equal to 3 plus 4, or 7. Once we get these two parts, then we're able to write our equation y equals 2x plus 7. Now if we take a look at what our calculator had shown us here for stat edit, oops, um, um, we plugged in everything into our calculator right here. We ran through our stat edit process and you can see that you get the same thing. Okay, make sure you fill out all of the notes and bring them to class on Thursday.